Now, if you're a subscriber to this channel, which I'm sure you are, you would know that we got the brand new Ryobi, not Ryobi, 100% battery powered snowblower. Now you see, I already done did a video with all the specs and how to use this thing. And I'll put that video at the end of this video for you to check out. But today we're gonna use and abuse. We're gonna slice and dice through some of the snow, see what it can, can't do. Who is this snowblower meant for and who is it not meant for? Now, as you can see, we got a lot of snow on the ground. However, do not worry about me as I am dressed in my warmest and finest tank top. Do better next year. All right, so here's what I usually use is my Arians. I love this other than the smaller wheels, which I'm actually gonna go out and replace later today. They suck. And compared to that thing, this thing looks like a freaking beast. And there's a couple things that I love about this. Number one thing, you push that button, you got heated grips. And I'll tell you what, these things get nice and warm. They did a really good job on that. And as mentioned, we're not gonna spend too much time, but all in all, the tire size on this, they're huge. They work great in the snow, and I'm able to get through a lot more than what I am with my gas. You know, like this crapo right here. We had about 15 inches of snow droppage. I don't hate the snow. As you may or may not see right here, it's pretty freaking deep, yeah? We're gonna go through this. We're gonna see what it can and can't do in the battery life, but only if you subscribe. All right, so right off the bat, we're putting four batteries. It comes with four batteries, four 6AH batteries. As mentioned, they work in a pair. So this is gonna go here. This one here is gonna go here. This one goes here. Now remember, these things work in a pair, so you have to have two on each side or at least two in here on the same side to run. So what I didn't realize about this snowblower here is if you start getting into some really heavy things, all batteries start working together, all four, and actually turns this thing into an 80 volt, believe it or not. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run it through all this snowage right here, and we're going to see what it can do and how long the battery lasts. So let's just get it going. All right, so I'm gonna turn this auger all the way up full speed, and I can do that with the lever. If you look at that other video, you'll see it. But here's the deal. Would I use this auger full speed all the time? No, if you only have like three inches of snow, you don't need to blow it 25 feet away, then put it on medium, and that way it's gonna save that battery power for you. So I'm gonna turn on my heated grips because it's very cold outside. I'm gonna hit the start. Now I can adjust this up, down. Let's just bring it all the way up and see what it does. I'm gonna start out slow here. Camera, no! All right, so we got four bars. Oh my God, I'm gonna hit that camera. We got four bars here on this, but I'm gonna blow it away from the camera here. I'm gonna show you what this can and cannot do. And I forgot I got snow ornaments outside of my yard right here. It ain't real nice, I forgot about them. Let's do that again. Going through, four bars. That thing really tosses that snow up in the air. I mean, seriously, look at it. Let's go back here. You know, let's go in the backyard here, because I'll tell you what, I know I'm gonna hit that damn snow water, man. Gonna end up getting Santa Claus all chopped up. Look at that thing go. We're not even on high. Now that's the path that I ended up doing earlier. So cold outside. Ugh, stuff's so nasty. All right, here we go. We're gonna cut a swath, a swath. Okay, so I am going to turn my auger up all the way here. Let's get this out that way, spin that that way. Heated grip, start it up. Here we go. I'm gonna bring the speed down a little bit. Oh, great. All right, we're down to three bars each. So we're gonna do this one-handed, because I'm a brave man. Here we go. You can see how far it's kicked that snow out of there. It's real nasty. I mean, it really does kick it out. We're still at three bars here. We're still in that big snow. It's hard to do with one hand. I don't got no friends to help me record this, so I just do it by myself. Bring it out here to the side, and that way you can see it even further. There it goes. See that? Go back into deep stuff. This stuff is really deep. I'm gonna slow it down a little bit. There you go. Let it kind of catch up. This thing definitely does have a lot of torque. Still got three 
far as on the battery here. Oh man, I don't want to go all the way down there. Let me hit pause. Look at that. Look at how far that throws. That's great. All right, hold on. All right, you can see. Maybe. Can you see? Yes. Yes. This is how deep it is right there. Going down through that stuff. All right, let me go get my tripod. All right, let's throw this bad boy in reverse here. We'll start up the other way. You know, as they said in the late great Teen Wolf movie, you got to go with the flow, Joe. All right, here we go. Big tire is definitely helpful. All right, so here we go. We're gonna swing it this way here. We're gonna kick it on and start. All right, we're hitting that snow, yo. Wow, that thing really pushes it. Check that out. Look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it all the way up. <laughs> Stuff is pretty freaking deep. I gotta go with one hand. Let me swing it that way. I'm in my pockets, in my tank top. What is this? I'm crazy. Yeah, kick it, kick it. This thing got a lot of torque. In those augers. And he's getting stuck in those ruts. It's horrible. Let me go ahead and hit those tines for you real quick. I'll start it up. Hit the start button. Takes and goes, man. And again, I'm gonna bring this down here. Back up. It's good. It just goes and throws it. it. Throws it far. Now, as you can see right here. I still got three green bars, three green bars, which is pretty darn good considering I'm going through this heavy stuff and making multiple passes. Let's just go the rest of the way up. No wonder I couldn't go. Had a giant log in the yard. Damn kids. All right, let's just finish this up. One handed, cause I'm flying. I'm flying. Blowing it. It does it good, man. Still got three bars. We're done. Two bars on the pair B. Two bars on pair A. Oh, I'm going so much snowage. Yeah. Sorry about the camera angle. Look at it, just blowing it, taking it. Now, mind you, I got the augers all the way up. I do not have the speed all the way up. But I'm blowing it into the neighbor's yard. <laughs> well, one-handed is not cool. All right, let's show you here. Look at that swath. There we go. Let's finish it up. Two-handed, much better. Much better. You can see it's just taking this stuff and eating it up. I'm hungry. Oh, yeah. Shouldn't have worn my moccasins. Very chilly. Bring it this way here. All right, so who is the snowblower for and who is the snowblower not for? All right, so obviously if you live in Alaska, Northern Canada, Siberia, this snowblower, not for you. Now, after letting this set for a couple of minutes, the battery life did go back up to three bars, but here's the thing. I just think they need larger batteries. They need at least a 10 AH. The 6 AH battery, you get four of them. They do work together. You know, if you need that extra oomph, it's gonna give you 80 volts and you're gonna use all four. It's gonna drain those batteries a little bit more. That was 15 inches of snow and it was off of my driveway. It did really good and it takes the snow and blows it. Now there was some bog down, but there's a lot of torque on this, so it will take it and throw it out and I haven't had any issues with stalls. So all in all, power wise, impressive. If you're somebody that gets four or five inches of snow, maybe even up to six inches of snow, this is, this is gonna be able to do your driveway, your sidewalk, and then some without any issues. Problem is the battery charge time. It takes me about an hour and a half to charge two batteries. So if I were you, because this takes four batteries, even though you could run it on two, you might wanna go out and buy an extra battery charger. I just don't like the downtime. You know, if there's a snowstorm or if there's constant snow coming and I gotta throw those on the charger and it takes an hour and a half or maybe a little bit longer to charge those batteries, that's not good. So definitely need larger batteries, at least a 10 AH, and I think this thing is gonna be super awesome. I love that you don't have to deal with, you know, gas issues or trying to start this thing up. I really love that you don't have any starting issues. You just hit that button, it starts right off time after time, and it's great. As far as build quality goes, not the heaviest duty, but definitely built pretty well. There is metal down here, a lot of plastic up on top up here, but all in all, the main components shouldn't have any issues with them. So what's my final verdict on this? A lot of cool features, and I enjoy using this much more than my gas. The only thing I will say is, 
Dependability when it comes to the runtime, I still say gas is the way to go if you are living in climates that get a lot of snow all at once. However, again, if you were somebody that lives in an area that gets four or five inches of snow from time to time, this is going to be awesome. You will absolutely love it. Of course, I want to know what you think. Leave me a comment in the comment section below. Have you tried this yet? Are you planning on trying it? Love hearing your feedback. Also, if you could squeeze that like button, <laughs> greatly appreciate it. I always appreciate you stopping by. And with that, we'll be back with more videos soon.